And it's Bourbon Vlog Live coming to you a little bit earlier than usual for your Friday afternoon. It's, it's like a happy hour. Right? And it's always a happy hour whenever I see my good friend, Trey Zoller, founder of Jefferson's Bourbon. And today is the first day. Uh, it is your inaugural. It's your release. It's the first ever single barrel of Jefferson's Reserve, right? You got it. Well, it's not the first single barrel of Jefferson's Reserve, but it is the first release of the 100 proof 100 proof of the 100 we're proof. only doing in single barrels only so doing the 100 proof single barrel all right you cool. got it and as so, i say release we sold them today over in crestwood kentucky at our distillery kentucky artisan distillery um so we were pumped about doing that the rest of the products can be shipped out in single barrels um, for, the, for the foreseeable future at least so yes. pretty pumped about it Excellent. Well, congratulations. I'm having a sip right now. Uh, a lot of people went over to Kentucky Artisan Distillery to uh, get themselves a bottle. Do you, you still have a few bottles there? Still have some left. Still there. Some left. So uh, if you get a chance to stop by Kentucky Artisan Distillery there in Crestwood, Kentucky, uh, that's the first place you can get a bottle. But you, this this bottle will be uh, available It'll be nationwide to people who bought a single barrel. So uh, we've been sending out samples for the last few months we've got a lot of pre-orders out there and ready to ship so you know we've been it's the demand to have a higher proof jefferson's reserve is you know it's it's echoed in my ear all the time and nice. uh so i had no idea that it would end up at 100 proof but i really wanted to find where you know where it balanced out where you've got the most flavor and the most complexities that can come out without being overpowered by the astringency of the alcohol so I, it landed at 100 proof who knew and um you're tasting it right now what do you think i love it i you know and though it is 100 proof and, and it has that nice warm power of the 100 proof you know to me that you know, it's smooth it has a, a mouthfeel of something probably slightly lower for me because you know i do like higher proof bourbons but uh, the characteristics, some of those signature Hallmark characteristics we love on Jefferson's, the elegance, uh, the sugars, kind of some nice creme brulee there. Um, beautiful, just really through and through, really lovely single barrel. Um, what, do, what do you like about it? What are your favorite parts of this? You know, I do. I like the spice in it. As you said, it's got great mouthfeel. It's got great weight on it. I love that. I love the finish that comes back and stays warm on your chest. It's, it's big. It's got a lot of flavors. Yes, um, it is it is a, a big flavored uh, bourbon. And if you want to ask Trey any questions, I see a lot of people watching us live. And thank you for watching us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, and also on Bourbon Blog Live. Make sure you're following all these wherever you're watching it from. Ask your questions down below if you have a question about anything Jefferson's related uh, for Trey. Uh, we're always... Happy to have him on and chat a little bit of bourbon. And um, again, in the history of Jefferson's, this is the first one that's ever been a hundred proof. You got it. Um, you know, I've always said that just changing age and proof is not something that I'm really interested in. I did do that here because we've had such demand for a higher proof. Um, so this is actually our first release and being part of the Pernod Ricard. Uh, Excellent. So we do, you know, the only thing that we've done over 100 proof prior to that are some of our, uh, um, of our ocean cast strength. Voyages. Yes. So we also do in single barrels. So um, I love how this turned out. I'm really, really happy with it. Love that it's got such big flavors that, that could come out and, and, uh, and still maintain that Jefferson's kind of uh, balance that it's known for. Yes, it is. Uh, it is delicious. And uh, again, you can find Jefferson single barrels uh, across the country. And those are going to be uh, in partnership in conjunction with liquor stores that have selected them. That'll be a, really a brand new thing under this particular Jefferson's Reserve single barrel, right? You got it. You got it. And uh, we've got those barrels out right now. We've got our Jefferson's Ocean Weeded Barrels out right now. Yes. And we've got a few more coming down the pipe. So I'm um, pretty excited about that. You've done some uh, single barrel picks for Ocean before? or oh, yeah. yeah, right. sure. So we've, yeah, those. we've done those for the last few years in cast strength, weeded, and our regular Ocean Voyages. Excellent. So, yeah. I've definitely tried some wonderful accounts that have had their own Ocean. 
Uh, is this program, the single barrel, something that's going to be ongoing for accounts? We'll be seeing more and more of. Correct. We uh, we kind of readjusted everything once uh, we became part of the Pernod Ricard portfolio and uh, took it a small breather from barrels, but we are back in. Um, and we're back in with a lot of enthusiasm. So we're going to have quite a few uh, different barrels out and um, we'll have those out at, at, at you know, all times. So that's going to be great. I'm really pumped about that. that Our is next one is a new product that we have coming out. I can't tell you too much about it, um, except it will be launching May 1, excuse me, March 1st. Um, it is a rye. We're doing some different wow. things to it. Um, it turned out it's absolutely delicious and we'll be selling that in single barrels as well. So this is a, uh, all we know so far is it is a rye and it is going to be coming out in, uh, well, March 1st from, from Jefferson's and you got uh, it. this will be your first rye in, uh, in a little while or how long? I around? think eight years, Tom, you yes. know, I think it's been eight years since we last had our 10 year old rye and, uh, um, I wanted to come out with something that we could re be really proud of. We tried a number of things that uh, that didn't quite meet the uh, the high water mark that we were looking for because that that ten year old ride was so great. Yeah. And uh, this is this is one that I think we we really knocked out of the park. I'm really pleased with. So can't wait to get that out. Obviously, a lot to look forward to this year and. Uh, you released, uh, I know we've had you on several times the last uh, 10, 11 months since we've been doing the Bourbon Blog Live. You've released uh, a couple of, couple of voyages this past year too, right? From Ocean. You bet. Yeah. Well, we did, again, those three voyages, the Weeded yeah. Voyage, the, the three. Cast Strength, and then our regular Ocean Voyage. So, yeah. And Ocean is, um, it, it's, it's like a snowball going downhill. It's just getting more and more momentum. We just bought seven new containers. Wow. To, to fill up and put on the ocean. So we're preparing. Uh, it, hopefully the growth will uh, not only maintain where it is today, but continue to, to pick up momentum. So we've, we've always enjoyed the ocean ever since the very beginning. And we've uh, we've hosted a number of virtual tastings and I've always recommended people uh, get that one as one to try. People are loving it. Uh, so much good feedback on the ocean. When you say you, you purchase new containers, uh, as far as the growing that, explain what that means a little bit. Okay, so what we do is we age our bourbon for six to eight years, you know, in the original barrel. Then we put it in cradles, and those cradles go into containers that we ship down to Savannah and put them on a container ship. So we're contracted to be on the very top of the bow of the ship. So it gets as much pitch as possible. We cut big sunroofs in them, so to speak. So they are, you know, exposed to all the elements. The sun's beating down on it, rain, snow, you name it. So that salt air permeates the barrels and gives it a great <clears throat> salty taste to it. And then, you know, that pitch makes that bourbon rock within the barrel so much. The very top where the most movement is happening, <laughs> seeing the most number of elements, the sun, the sea, everything, and uh, as you purchase more containers, that means you're growing the number you're putting out there, the number of barrels uh, just continues to grow. Uh, what what else do those cargo, I think people have asked me, what else do those cargo ships deliver whenever they're uh, out on the ocean? Any idea? I had no idea, but I can imagine that it's everything from tires to nails to iPhones to keyboards, you know, everything, everything that's, that's shipped. You know, it, it, we've got a very unique, route yep when we did this we you know, wanted to circumnavigate the globe and they're like okay no problem we can do that in 60 days it's like all right we want to we want to take the slow boat to china <clears throat> so we stop at 30 ports it kind of zigzags the globe. It goes down all the way around australia so it's down in the tasmanian sea it goes back up to the north sea and then crosses the equator four times so you get such great Amazing. Um, climate change that it really affects the bourbon. So, wow. And it's there for, it's there on the ocean for how long? Well, it takes about eight months from the time it leaves our door till it comes back. It comes back. So, mm -hmm. so 
That's a, an, an awfully good journey. Uh, again, any questions for Trey, ask them uh, down below. We're talking about a lot of different bourbons, but especially this new <laughs> Jefferson's Reserve single barrel. Now, as we um, as we may see, you know, a variety of different, uh, whether it's spirit stores, liquor stores, maybe even restaurants that have a barrel of this, how would you describe the the way that the um, the, the variants of the flavors are? I mean, there's always going to be that signature flavor, but what excites you about the different single barrels that you've been tasting? That right, are I've had some that just, they're like caramel bombs. I mean, yeah. it just it brings that flavor out so much. Others that have been very spicy. So yeah. it's kind of an elegance and a, a spice. And yeah, you know, I like either depending on the occasion. Right. So, right. but then, you know, anytime you have a single barrel like this, you really do get such variety in some of the barrels it has the general tone but you can really pick out those that you like more um and at the 100 proof that even is you know it, it's more evident yeah that, that that extra proof really allows people to to dive in more to your flavors and to really see the you said the caramel bomb and and other spices and this one has some great caramels it's just it's really beautiful um again some bottles still left there at kentucky artists and distillers if you are in the um, Louisville, the greater region, definitely stop by and get one of those uh, bottles. Uh, the price on this is $59.99. So it's only $10 more than our typical Jefferson's Reserve you know, suggested retail, which I think is a hell of a price. It's a yeah, hell of a value. Really so people are asking me if that's $100 plus a bottle. So uh, wow. you're getting a great value, and I think it'll come through. It really is. It's it is delicious. A great value. It's and after you go through this round, will you have other single barrels available at the distillery? You bet. You bet. So, what we really do, what we're selling at the distillery, is after we bottle up all the barrels, if we don't make a complete case. So if you know we do thirty six cases and four bottles, those four bottles. We'll put off to the side and sell those through the, the distillery store. Wow. So you'll be seeing new new releases uh, uh, from time to time consistently of the single barrel program. Another good reason to uh, stop into Kentucky Artists and Distillery to actually experience that that new single barrel that's uh, that's out there on the shelf. You got it. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, the great thing is you're going to you, know, you might have four different uh, single barrels to choose from at the shelf. Four different types that would you would actually have at one time. Correct. Yeah. That's uh yeah. Could be more than that even. Nice. So we have this new release and we have another one coming in March, which we'll definitely be uh, letting you know more about on uh, bourbonblog.com. Keep on coming back here for this. And uh, after this interview is over, uh, also if you're a podcast fan, we'll have the audio up on anchor.fm forward slash uh, bourbon blog with the interview with myself and uh, Trey Zoller. Uh, Trey, it's it's so good to see you. And I know you have so many great things uh, happening there. Uh, anything else uh, you want to mention that you might see this year for, from Jefferson's? No, I think uh, we've got a lot of great things going. Don't forget, we're open uh, for tours Thursday through uh, Sunday. Actually, February 1 will start again Wednesday through Sunday. Um, we have opening we will open as soon as COVID lets up a little bit our barrel tasting shack which is uh, right next to our warehouses so we'd love to start hosting people there and having a little fun and that's i remember i saw that once when i was there with you it's the it's called the barrel tasting shack that's correct and that's, that's going to be all, really a new experience for people to come back to you bet i'm also calling that little danny's playroom uh <laughs> dan burke who is our chief barrel officer who's in charge of the single barrel program that's where he uh, does all his magic so little danny's uh playhouse is the <laughs> it's the playhouse little danny's playhouse or the little shack uh trey look forward to hopefully seeing you again and uh in person having a bourbon coming by uh crestwood kentucky there at kentucky artists and distillery again it is the new Jefferson's Reserve Single Barrel. This is the release day of it. You can get yourself a bottle if you're close to Crestwood, Louisville, around that area of Kentucky. Go get a bottle. It's delicious. It's just, there's so much going on in this. 
from those tobacco notes, spicy notes, the caramels, uh, and just that wonderful 100 proof. I mean, this is so, so good by itself. I would imagine this would also be just dynamite in a cocktail, too. I mean, it would just, it's so good. It, we had them in Old Fashions the other day, and it really helped. Doing it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really good. Good stuff. So, I appreciate you having me on. I've got to get uh, ready for my twins' birthday party tonight. Happy, so, happy birthday to your twins. That's that's very exciting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let the games begin. Let the games. Cheers, cheers, Trey. Thanks so much for everybody cheers. watching. Thanks, Trey. You got it, Tom. Thanks so much. Take Thanks. care.